What is up, guys? How are you doing tonight? If this is your first time on our channel and you're catching us in the uh, playback, I would like to uh, ask you to take just a moment and consider subscribing and slapping that notification bell so that you never miss an opportunity to join a live stream or an outdoor adventure with myself and my family. Just take a moment to consider that. Now today we are going to take what seems to be a pretty mundane and boring topic and we are going to make a fun conversation out of it and that is the Modern Fish Act. Oh, they found the they, they, uh, they signed it into law. It hasn't gone into effect. I don't know that much about it, so I couldn't tell you what the deal is with that. But I can tell you a little bit about the Modern Fish Act. What they're doing is making a slight change to the format for the uh, how they regulate fishing in federal waters. And what does that mean to you? Not right. Probably not a lot. Maybe. How often have you been out into federal waters? Federal waters in Texas extends. That's when you get out past the nine mile mark. Whoever that is in the room, I'm seeing you. Hi. <laughs> Feel free to chat down below. Hey. We're having a conversation. I'm just talking here, but we're having a conversation. I'd love to know your thoughts on the yeah, subject. So the Modern Fish Act is, they're going to change how they do the regulations mm -hmm. for it. See, normally, uh, historically, it is the uh, Magnuson-Stevens law thing that everybody has followed, and that's cool. It's a great law. It has done fantastic things for fisheries in the past uh, 50 years. It came around, I think, back in the 70s. It, it's wonderful. It controls, it, it regulates fishing. The federal government sets standards as to what you are allowed to catch based on maximum species yield, annual catch limits, and things like that. And that's great for commercial fisheries. Unfortunately, recreational anglers have been held to the same rules. And that's, that's fine. It's been great for fisheries. But recreational anglers are not catching the same quantities of fish that the commercial guys are doing. So that is where the Modern Fish Act comes into play. Mr. Clueless Homesteaders, absolute pleasure. Thank you guys for dropping in. As of... Uh, is this your first time here, or did I catch you guys last week? I think last week. Were you guys here last week? Okay. Or I, I, last night. I make it a, a point to, uh, yeah, or, or did I catch you with J&C last night or something? Oh, that is awesome. My wife brought home a bottle of wine. And do you want sushi? Of course I want sushi. I always want sushi. So Modern Fishing Act, that's going to pertain to fishing nine miles offshore here in Texas. It's nine miles to, I don't know, the 75-mile mark, something like that, which personally I have done only twice in the last year. So that hasn't made a whole lot of impact and that was a record for me so it hasn't made a whole lot of impact on the fish that we catch but with the modern fish act now mr billy lalonde how are you doing there sir first time here for clueless homesteaders i love that name by the way that is an awesome awesome youtube channel name yeah okay yeah it was we did see him in a j and c's last night that was an awesome stream by the way we're kind of sitting here, I'm kind of chatting about the Modern Fish Act just because it was the number one fishing story on uh, Google earlier. I had to study it in depth, but it was interesting then. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I love it. I find it really interesting. But it's, I mean, there's been more interesting subjects on uh, on Yahoo News and whatnot. Like we're, we're, we're going through this one, and that's fine. It's going to be a good one, but... Uh, it's not the single most interesting thing we could be talking about, I think. But it's something that a lot of people are curious about. And I'm curious to know y'all's guys' thoughts on it, if, you, if you're familiar with it at all. Basically, they're changing the format of regulations for fishing so that now there's going to be new scientific data that they're going to be using locally, locally farmed information on uh, fish species and capita and everything like that so that recreational ang anglers hypothetically have the ability to catch more fish than what they've been able to do so historically. There's people for it, there's people against it. If you're curious, if you want some insight, a little bit more information than what I can give you here while I'm sitting here and drinking a glass of wine, I do have links down in the de description below that'll take you to both the good and the bad and I've got the Newsweek story on it in the description down there if you're interested in checking it out. If you're not familiar with it at all, don't worry about it. It's okay. we got plenty of things to talk about tonight. This was just the subject that I threw out there so that we would have a title for the YouTube thing. 
working in Boston. Man, I'm envious of that. Not the, exactly the time of year I'd want to be there, but I've always wanted to go to Boston, Mr. Lalonde. What are you doing up there? And please tell me that you've at least had an opportunity to stop into a good pub at some point and have yourself a nice stout beer. Winchester sister, hello. Clueless homesteaders, am I li limited to 10,000 fish under this? They, they haven't changed limitations or rules or bag limits. They haven't done any of that. Because what the, what the law does is it now allows our, our area, like it allows Texas to have more input on what the limits and restrictions should be in federal waters. It's giving our area more of a voice in, in what goes on with federal restrictions. So they haven't changed any of the restrictions. They've just changed the format and how they're able to do that. Building a new store, that is awesome, Billy. Well, I'm, I, Winchester, we're having a great night here tonight, man. I, I, I'm, uh, it's been a long day, and I'm very excited to be hanging out with you guys right now. So thank you guys, by the way, for coming and joining us. Uh, uh, you were giving me the ability to vent and relax and kind of chill out after a long day, so thank you very much. And who else? Everybody. Everybody. What? Your wife and your daughter do that. And my wife and my daughter also say hello. Why don't, instead of pulling me aside, you come and jump no, in no, and no, say no. hello yourself? Because I'm putting things that are frozen away, and I was saying that your wife and daughter are also there. Okay, my wife and daughter are also here, and they also, my, my wife's making it a huge point <laughs> to, let, to tell me, to tell you guys that she says hello. I'm all for allowing larger catches, as long as it doesn't go to the point of extinction. We used to freely catch rockfish here in the 70s. Now the season is two weeks a year because of overfishing. I totally agree. I totally agree. And I had the same thought on it. But the thing is, is that this is going to be new regulations for recreational anglers who ba whose bag limits are relatively small. The commercial fishing industry is going to, uh, they're going to remain under the Magnuson-Stevens law. They're going to have to follow regulations that are, uh, that are federally regulated under that, which has, has, is how it's been since the 70s. So that's not going to change. It's just recreational anglers, which is actually a, a fairly small portion of what is caught. Now, we still need to be responsible in our fishing habits. And I don't foresee bag limits and size limits changing that much. But like, for example, here, I think we're allowed four snapper in federal waters in a very short season. That's going to open up a little bit. Great beer here. Mr. Lalonde, cheers to you, sir. <laughs> Hope you enjoying your time up there in Boston. Mr. A&J Outdoors, absolute pleasure to have you here, sir. I apologize for missing your stream the other day. I've had a it's my constant excuse, long days at work. I'm sorry about that. I've got the notifications. I keep meaning to jump on there. I, I just keep missing you, and I'm sorry about that, man. However, I am interested in seeing your Patreon thing. We've got Patreon, too. We haven't done a whole lot with it, and I'm curious to see what you're doing because I'd like to be able to amp up the uh, the Patreon thing as well. Mr. Farmall Fanatic. Absolute pleasure to have you here, sir. I apologize I didn't say hello to you earlier. And yes, I am absolutely clueless as well. I did just a slightest amount of research on the Modern Fishing Act. Like I said, it was the number one trending fishing article when I was looking all this stuff up. And I'm allowed cheat notes. So I can tell you all about it just because of my cheat notes I took. I'm not, I, I'm clueless. I just happen to have, you know, something that tells me what's going on right in front of me. I'm all for more state control and less federal. In all honesty, clueless homesteaders, I wholeheartedly agree with you on that. I am not a proponent of federal regulation in every single little uh, facet of your life. I'm not a fan of that. Mr. JNC No Limit TV, how are you doing today, sir? It is an absolute pleasure. And kudos on an awesome live stream last night, man. That was a whole lot of fun. I'm looking, uh, I'm looking forward to winning one of those one of these days. <laughs> Good, good on the New Year's resolution. Good job. Keep that up. I want to keep hearing that. Uh, Rachel, a bunch of people are saying hello to you. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm way behind on the chat. I apologize, guys. I'll get all caught up here. I'm sitting here and chatting and hanging out. Everybody says hello, like everybody in the chat. Why don't you jump on there? Say hi. I just walked from work. Literally from work. No, no excuses. I walked in Hashtag no excuses. Work. Hashtag winning. 
I don't know if you can hear her or not. She just got home from school and she's she's upset that I'm not upset, but frustrated that I keep egging her on to come over here. But she's got groceries and stuff she's unloading. Mr. Holland Ash, absolute pleasure, sir. Good to see you, man. I want to be back in Texas. Yeah, Billy, I, I don't blame you. Like, I really do want to go to Boston. That's one of the places in the United States where I haven't been and I would dearly like to, Whoa. but not this time of year. Yeah, I'm a big Dropkick Murphys yeah. fan. That's all I can think of every time he says that. I'm like, because we're shipping off, man. Shipping off to Boston. Whoa. Sorry, that's all I can think of. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> sorry, that's my singing, guys. Apologize. <laughs> Savannah and Kenzie, have you eaten? High Velocity Savage. Good evening, sir. How are you doing? Aside from the biggest storm of winter yes, falling through right now. It's like huge. Really? Just yes. going through. Is that all you guys? I, yes, totally. JNC, all you guys experiencing a big storm right now? That's, uh, exactly. uh, I don't like the sound of that. It's a whole thing. It's not too bad down here right now. We're in the 70s. It's yeah. raining. 70s. I don't mind that. Are you crazy, man? It's like the 60s. It's in the 60s, it's upper cold. 60s. Yes. But it's Sean not too, them, too bad. My brother and them are fixing to get hammered, too. Jamesy probably. Uh, <laughs> to us. Ah, that's funny. That's funny, Winchester sister. That's what you get for having a bunch of subscriptions to a uh, a bunch of phenomenal YouTube channels. She's wanting to watch Supernatural, but she's not able to because of all the live streams she enjoys going live right now. It's on Netflix, so she's good. Yes, High Velocity Savage, you have excellent taste. I'm a big Dropkick Murphys fan. I was big into punk rock back in the 90s. I still am. I still listen to uh, punk rock. And uh, I I I've seen Dropkick yeah. Murphys three or four times live. I've been on stage with those guys. I love them to death. Awesome, awesome band. Snap on stage. Let me know. I can send you some Boston local beer. Oh. Please, sir. Yeah, yeah. Rachel says, please. I can't drink it, but... <laughs> Please do. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll no, we'll drink it. I do do. We are located. No storm. Okay, we got no storm in uh, northwest Wisconsin. Going to be here, Holland Ash. If I'm not mistaken, you're in New York. Is that right, or am I getting that wrong? I know. I've, I think I've asked you that before, and I forget. But I want to say that's New York. And he says it's coming there soon. Six inches last weekend. Mostly melted now. Snow again coming this weekend in Virginia. Yeah. Why am yeah, I not talking? I should be asking Luke about this. Yeah, and Sean too. They're, they're like, yeah, it's going. And the boys are trying to get all the savvy to show her. No. Oh, yeah. So, uh, uh, JNC here is saying there's no snow in northwest Wisconsin yet. It's really strange. South? Uh, high Velocity South Savage. You're not going to be doing yourself wrong. A&J, fantastic channel, man. I highly subscribe. There, there's one of the things that I love about doing this live stream thing. I have managed to ingrain myself in a community of really amazing channels here jnc a and j hall and ash the, the everybody in here is just awesome a, a lot of people who aren't in here you know because they're probably off doing their own thing awesome channels you will not go wrong by checking them out okay. let me know what you want i'm here till mid mid february ouch that's gonna be rough this oh, time of year see i was thinking like a weekend would be fun <laughs> I don't know about till mid February. It's the worst time of year. Well, I was going to tell you about the shark, uh, Deep Blue in Hawaii. I was totally into that. I was looking on my channel about the shark, Deep Blue Hawaii. No, the shark's name is Deep Blue. Okay. Um, the shark's name is Deep Blue. Yes, in Hawaii. I don't know if they can hear you, Vera. Can you guys hear her? I'm just trying to get Savannah's in public. Okay, no, you're not. You're on the phone. I see you. No, I'm not on the phone. I see you twiddling away. I'm on the phone. <laughs> Actually, my brother's thinking because there's some trying to catch that. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You know what? I don't want to. I don't want to say Harper. what kind of beer I want from Boston. I, I I want some hidden little thing that sits on the the bot that thing that I've never heard of that sits on the bottom shelf and collects dust at no. the grocery store. The skunk town? No. I want skunk town stout. <laughs> I like stouts and I like porters. I'm a stout and porter guy. Thank you very much, JNC. I, I do appreciate that, guys. Of course, any thumbs up that you feel uh, that you feel like putting on there is very greatly appreciated, guys. YouTube judges, what you guys don't understand, if you guys aren't doing a, you guys who do a YouTube channel, you understand, but if you don't do a YouTube channel, you don't understand. If you don't get thumbs up on your video, as soon as you turn it off, a guy from YouTube comes around the corner over here and beats you with a stick. They are dead serious about those thumbs up. Can I have time to make a drink? 
<laughs> it's little, what's her name, Kim, the CEO of uh, YouTube. She's sitting back there outside with a stick right now. And if I don't get a bunch of thumbs up, she's going to come in here and beat me with a cane. If she's tiny, it stings, though. Yeah, she's, she's making videos. It's annoying, too, because, spoiler alert, no, 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 no. I'm not even reading the rest of that. I'm not reading the rest of that. I don't want spoilers because I haven't seen it, and I do plan on watching that at some point. I'm very behind on my TV watching. Text me address. I'll send you some. Uh, Billy, I will. If I'm not mistaken, you and I have exchanged emails before. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but regardless, um, text me address. Let me... Email you in a little bit. Okay, uh, Billy. Yeah, that's what I thought. We have exchanged emails, so I'll email you. I'll, I'll email you. Get you. And uh, if you would be so kind as to do that, I would very much appreciate that. And of course... We'll trade you for some Texas whiskey. Yeah, we'll, we, will, we will make a trade with you. I'll do the same for you, and we will have a drink on a live stream together. I will not drink it until I'm able to do it with you because that's just you don't just drink beer. You are supposed to be drinking it with others. So that is going to be the rule on that. <laughs> James. <laughs> that, well, hey, thank you. you. Thank you for uh, uh, putting that out there, James. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. I apologize. I haven't done that more in your streams, and I will. I, I, I will be better about doing that kind of stuff. Ask James see if they like Nicolas. They're down with New Glarus. Oh, okay. Uh, Rachel now? wants to know, J and C, are you guys fans of New Glarus? Or is it too commercialized now? Or is it too commercialized right now? She's curious your thoughts on New Glarus. If you're ever in Virginia, stop by. I brew a mean barrel-aged Russian Imperial Stout. Holy this shit. is from Clueless Homesteaders. Wow. Just wow. Yeah, I don't even know what to say about that. That sounds wow. amazing. Okay, I'm going to just make my drink at the table. Okay, yeah, Rachel, she's going to make herself a drink, but she's so intrigued by this conversation that she's bringing it over to the table to make it here. Here, come. This is the, we're going to put aside the Modern Fish Act <laughs> notes I that I have, and we're going to sit here and make some Act drinks. It's very cool to me because I just study it in school. Well, not study that, but study in school. You have the iguana light on? I do, I do. I have the light. See that little purple light down there? That is the most terrible, annoying light in the entire world. It makes you feel like you're... It makes you sick. It's awful. It, it, it has this little buzzing sound to it. It's, uh, we put it on at night one time, the first night we got it, and yeah, terrible, terrible light. So anytime you guys see that light on, I'm doing that because it, you know, it's purple, blue against the orange ambiance. fence outside. It's for ambiance. But that thing drives me up. That is the it thing of nightmares. It reminds, I feel like an iguana. Oh, we got Winchester's sister. Her uncle owns a winery. I like, I like what is happening in this chat here i we, we need i don't i drink the stuff i don't make it but i've always wanted to my grandmother used to make it in a tub but that's kind of trashy I spotted guess. cow holland ash says great beer thank you he yeah, likes it i do like spotted cow i'm a fan okay yeah i'm gonna be a little Blue lawn at gmail okay okay I'll yeah billy i got you as soon as we get off here man i'll maybe not as soon as i get off of here mm. I might have to let my phone charge because it, the live streams just, they, they drain it to the bone. Right. But I will email you. We'll, we'll get in contact because that'd be fun to have a drink over a live stream together. We'll get a, we'll, we maybe need to get a couple of people involved in this. This would be fun. Well, we went the to, town is named New Glarus. Yeah, but isn't that the right. name of the... the no, no, the, there's a couple of uh, breweries in New Glarus when, we, when I used to go a long time ago. And then we went to Capitol. Yeah. We, we went, went to there. New Glarus, didn't we? Well, yeah, we've been to New Glarus also. Yeah, they had all that stuff on yeah, tap. It was had. awesome. Yeah. We went there. Yeah. And we, it's know, e we know New Glarus is the town. Classic <laughs> Homesteader says it's easy. You should try. Oh, he says I should make yes, it. I thought actually, you were saying I should try yours, which I wholeheartedly agree. Yes. I want to. Actually, I bought Paul a whole little kit to make beer. And then remember we thought that they didn't have the stuff with it and we tried to return it and it yes. turns out. Yes. <laughs> that was such a bum deal. No. We got a we got a beer making it kit for Christmas. It was a bum no, deal. It wasn't. It doesn't come with it because it used ye. <laughs> oh, okay, so we got one of those little little like three gallon things from the grocery store, those like make your own beer for from, Christmas. Hey, it was from Whole Foods. It was really cool. World yeah, Market. yeah, World Market, something like that. So it was really cool. I was really excited about it. And uh, and so we got the whole thing home, and it had a big sticker that was stuck on there that said, uh, app, you can make apple cider. But what they didn't tell you is what they basically did was they gave you the beer brewing kit, and they slapped the apple cider sticker on there, but they only gave you the stuff to make the apple cider. So you weren't able to make the beer. Like, they covered up the ingredients for the beer thing on there. It was such a bum deal. We never even made it. Because who wants to... Well, I'm not going to say I don't want to make alcoholic apple cider, but after not being able to make my beer, I was just... That was the deal. 
the active ingredient wasn't needed. Oh, J and C says, uh, John says, because that's nasty, but Cassie likes it. Actually, the ingredient that's, wasn't like there the, because. She's just like that. She likes some rank stuff. I do too. I do too. I like Kentucky Deluxe. There you go. Wait, oh, yeah. Oh, and I drink really, I drink really crappy wine. No, this is your better one. This is not your dojo. Yeah, this is my step up. Who's this the, is like $8 no, a bottle. Who named it Dojo? Because I love that. Because remember, we always call it the yellow one because there's yellow, green, and red. Yeah. The dollar stores. Who in here named it Dojo? Because now I'm always calling it, you know, it's the Dojo at school. And they're like, what are you saying? The Dojo. I don't remember, remember the dollar store. And we're like, it's the uh, yellow one. It's dollar the store yellow one. one. Yeah, because so I, I do dollar store one. It's like, it's the Dojo because it was the yellow one. Ever since then, at school, they're like, oh, Miss Casey, was it the Doyo, the Doro, or the Doe Grow? I'm Mommy, like, sounds like I'm growing Mama? weed. Yes, ma'am. Do you mean dodos? No, <laughs> dodos do are ramen, honey. She oh. means doyo. She actually means that. I do mean doyo this time. When, well, okay, what we got here? Okay. No, dodos. Hey, started with one of those. They, yeah, I mean, it, it was a start. Actually, at the time, my brother was making mead, and my other brother was making... I still think we just went what did Luke make? they said it didn't come with any because we're idiots, and it was like Luke or something. My other, my, Luke made beer, and my other brother, Peter, made mead, mead. and they both nailed it. It was really, that really was good. good. The mead, no, nah, it was just good. It was yeah, just good. I liked good. it. Thank I want to say it gave me a headache, but that's probably because I drank too much of it. Um, yeah. But it was really good. So I was going to take my shot at it. I was going to, and I did this dud fail. How's it always? And we were just eating. First time went full of grain and keying. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know that much about it. I just drink the stuff. Right. Full okay, of we're good at that. Grain and legging. You're, yeah, yeah, see, clueless uh, uh, ciders can be good, and you're absolutely right. They can. And we should have made it, period, bar none. We should have just made it. We just, I was so excited about we making a good stout or something that when I saw that, I was just like, uh. That's also when the engine dropped out of the car. So and, it kind of was yeah, like a bad and, taste in our mouth after that. Like, that. That's also true. At that very same time, we dropped the engine out of our car. So it's kind of like, oh, we have no car to go drive back in. Newglarisbrewing.com. They got good stuff. I like yes, Newglarus. Like and then. Kegging. He meant kegging. Okay, I'm like, kegging. Is that I was new? like, legging? Like, hmm, is that like scrubbing? <laughs> that's. Are you doing voice to text, AJ? That would be so yes! cool if you were. We need somebody doing that. Yes, please. What did I tell you? I was going and making meeting something. I saw it. And I'm like, what does this mean? <laughs> even when I texted you, I didn't even know what I was saying. The winery. Uh, Winchester Sisters Winery is called Broken Check. If you guys come to Australia, hey, I'm all about it, man. We will check that out. Absolutely. Uh, Cassie's favorite beer is Dragon's Blood, but it's crazy expensive. That's interesting. Do you know who makes it? I'm kind of curious about that. It's like the Chimay that we like. And that yeah, beer, Chimay is I awesome. I love Belgian. Belgian I love Chimay. Amazing. So for me, if we buy Belgium. Best beer I ever had in my life. It's out of uh, Colorado. What's the name of that brewery? It's that awesome brewery that cool. does. Uh, I still like Turbo Dog, personally. Turbo not Dog's a good not. one. Um, Abita Springs was my favorite until they kind of. Weak sauce. What it is out. the name of that? The beer is called. It's the motor oil stuff. Ten fifty. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Ten fifty. Ten fifty is free, and it's spelled T E N F I D D Y. They also do. We had that weird one. Old Chub. Okay, Old Chub. Right. Old From Chub. Right. Both phenomenal beers, okay. and I can't remember the name of that brewery in Colorado. Oh, we'll go Google it. Yeah, I, I don't know, but they're ten fifty. And Old Chub, amazing beers. So then what do you I do grain as well. No other way to go in my opinion. Oh, see, yeah, see, that's what I want to do. I wanted to make whiskey. Thank you, because I want to build a still in the back of our garage, but nobody wants to help Still working out. on that. Yeah, I'm going to build a still one day. Kentucky Bourbon Ale. Ooh, that sounds good. Really good. Remember we were... We Took a while to get there. Yeah. <laughs> we fell into a good What was that? The moonshine one, we fell into a little bit of a K-hole with the moonshine show. Yeah, we had a little short time there where we got into moonshine. Yeah. We, I don't remember much no, about it. I, I'm totally down with it still. No, I'm wanting to make it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was obsessed with trying to make it. And they got like all those proper, shine where, shows. You know, we were watching yeah, them. that's what I meant. We were in like a little Char K-hole. Charlene, it is an absolute pleasure to have you, ma'am. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. I know you've got <laughs> some stuff going on in your life. I want you to know you and your family are in our prayers, ma'am. We, I saw this going on. I'm not making a big public spectacle thing or whatever, but I just want you to know that, ma'am. Pretty sure we can order that wine online. Uh, I'm, okay. ooh, cool, cool. 
But like I said, as far as my wine drinking goes, I, I, I drink Keep pretty cheap. Like I, 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 I do like, yeah, the, the Doyo $4 bottles. I was up in the ante with this one because I had a great meeting with my manager at work yesterday. So I was like, you know what? I'm going all out with no, the uh, $8 a, bottle. No, it's Hooked just catfish. A, hey, is this your first time here, man? It's because of the combo. Absolute pleasure having you. That's why we like, you like this one. It's because it's, it's the combo and I can only drink. Yeah, it's a Cabernet sugar, Merlot so. mix. Pretty good. I can't have sugar anymore. A and J, so it's an absolute pleasure, sir. I look forward to your live stream. I, I saw that you had just posted one that I don't know if you've done it yet or not, but whichever, whatever the deal is, I very much look forward to seeing your next one and actually getting on there. Sorry about that again. Hope you feel better. Serving from my home, Lacey. How are you doing, ma'am? I know this is probably kind of late for you. You haven't seen her channel yet, but you need to. She does awesome stuff. I've seen a lot of her stuff. You told me about it, though. It's like the crafting. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, the crafting there. stuff. Yeah, Not she's crafting. Cool. I mean, you know what I mean? No, she's crafting. Well, I know that, but... <laughs> she, no, I'm sorry. I'm already thinking about that Beastie Boys song now. <laughs> I know, me too. Anyway. I got it stuck in uh, No, no, no. <laughs> Copyright infringement. Hey, it's better Can't than do it. Baby Shark. I'm sorry. I had to hear Baby Shark all day long today. <laughs> <laughs> the kids are all in it speaking, doing it in Spanish. I'm sorry. I have a few friends with stills. One of them is an FBI agent that is red. I won't say another word, but I want to be in your group of friends, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. Do a second channel about brews. That's that JNC is saying we should do a second channel about beer. That's cool. That is rad. I have a real hard time drinking beer these days. Like, I probably drink like two beers a because year. You're allergic to it now because I am. Yeah, All I don't know. Beer. I have a weird reaction to it. Like, I get terrible headaches. I used to run a beer club. And we, we and met. That's how we met. Paul was my boss, and then he got fired. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyway. I hired her, and then they fired me. The same. Um, anyways, and I can't drink beer because I'm insulin resistant, so I can't. I can't Crafty have beer critter. Anymore. That is amazing. I love it. <laughs> um, so I can't drink beer. So I am. Jeremy. Oh, I'm gonna. Okay, it, so hold on. I gotta butcher this guy's last name just because that's what people do on YouTube. Daddy. I'm gonna Daddy. say. Daddy spells Stanley. Stanley. S T A N L E Y. Would you like another one? Are you still hungry? Okay, we got. I'm gonna. Do you want a lunchable? Do you want a lunchable? Is that? What is? I can't see that. D e c o u d r e s. It looks. That looks like a French descent. I'm gonna guess. De coudre. De coudre. I know I got that wrong. I'm going to go finish my Supernatural episode. See if you want to check out Uncle Trevor's Winery. The website is right there. Ma'am, you have a wonderful evening, and God bless to you, too. Thank you for have joining fun with us. Dean. He's, I think Dean's my favorite. No, the other Daddy. one. Hey, Billy, I, I will be in touch with you, man. Right. Thank you very much for joining us. You have a wonderful evening, um, man. It is... Oh, 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 good job of checking very that good. out. Savannah Banana. Savannah just searched us on uh, Google to see if she could jump on here. Go to uh, go to YouTube and we'll find it on there. It, it's, it's, that's Google. That's Google. You need YouTube. Already. My daughter's Googling us. <laughs> Close. Was it Deku? Decode? The I'm, I'm going to be obsessed with like figuring out the phonetically? pronunciation. Phonetically? Would you mind spelling, doing it phonetically for him? I'm sorry. But. Yeah, I'd like to know. I'd like to know how to pronounce that correct. And also, by the way, thank you very much for joining us and welcome to the live stream. And of course, I will butcher it. Yeah. That's, that's the, way, the whole I reason I wanted to pronounce it right, but you know. Really? Racist I wanted to welcome you properly. How do you know racist that? husbands? <gasps> no. no. I'm sorry. So I'm curious, you guys up north, you freshwater Harper. guys, do you experience any issues? With federal regulation on freshwater fishing up there, do you have different rules for freshwater versus salt, ver, for uh, commercial versus recreational? Does that affect you guys at all? Because I've been researching this for the uh, for uh, what we've got here with the modern modern fish act. But the only really large large. Go ahead and turn the volume yeah, down on yeah. that. That's awesome. You found it. The large bodies of water are going to be the lakes, and then they have hey. the weather. Clueless Homesteaders just hit 850 subscribers. Congratulations. If we have not subscribed... Cheers to them. Yeah, cheers to you. Here you go. And uh, if we have not subscribed to you yet, we will be doing that after the stream here, man. We'll check you guys out. I, but I think we did, but if we haven't, we will. Wait, which brother is your favorite? Dean is the older one with short hair, and Sam is the younger one, Dean. tall with the long hair. And short, that question is for you. Short hair. Short hair. He was on Prison Break. The guy from Prison Break. Yep, Prison Break guy. My fave. 
I've only watched it, I think, maybe twice. Hey, the remember Supernatural? I watched it whenever we were house sitting. Yeah, when we were house sitting. Oh, I don't remember. And Savannah was right the summer before. <laughs> she we just concert. can't remember the name. It's okay. You don't have to remember. Prison Break Guy. <laughs> Prison Break Guy. Yeah, got to be mm -hmm. a fan. No, he's my favorite. Yes, baby. You yeah. want to do the, you want to jump into the thing? Uh -huh. Um, 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 um. I don't know if you can. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here. My daughter wants to jump in on the chat, so. But you're like right here. I know, right? She's right. sitting right She's here next to me. She's as bad as me. I like sit in the other I'm room. I'm sorry. It's not logged in, so you can't. You can be on mommy's phone. But I will get you set up on that for next time. I, I just can't do it right now. You can be over here with mommy. Let's do it. Sitting here running through the chat. So, did anybody have any insight on that as far as, uh, do, you, do you experience, I want to know what other people have to go through on this. We have different that. federal regulations. I saw that question. The biggest large bodies, because they're going to still be under federal, like mm -hmm. normal. Uh, remember I talked to Sean about. So, they have that. Poppies, you have federal gills, waters and fresh and water too? Well, of course. They, well, they have anything, like, with their wildlife. Ooh. Okay. So, remember when Sean and I were discussing the crappie thing in their bags? So depending on their bag limit, which is much better and different than ours, they're only large, large, where we're saying like nine miles out. Yeah. Those are different. And we'll see that's different. It can be like, it can be as low okay. as three miles and as far as 200. That's Agreed. where the federal goes. But I'm just saying it's freshwater is the same as here. Remember how we just talked about the difference in crappie. Mm -hmm. Our crappie is different than theirs to begin with. So their bag limit's different and their kind of is different. Yeah. So it's yeah, but, not like but federal, federal regulation is, is like, I didn't know if They're like a, a water, water body was is only going to be the lake. See, that's what I needed. That's what I wanted to know. Is there a difference in the Please. the regulation? Of, is there like federal regulation in in rivers and I streams, know, lakes? Just, Do you guys have to deal with that? I don't know the first thing about it. I mean, I imagine it's the same. I only oh. went to school down here, so I don't know about it there. But according to my brother, Winchester sister says uh, the Dean. Oh, he's sorry. the one who went to heaven, hell, and purgatory. What a mix. And now she's going to go finish her episode. Ma'am, you have a wonderful evening, Happy and thank tonight. you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. Also, I want to give a little bit of a, a little bit of a shout out here. We got a uh, had a little conversation with. Uh, hey, Saltwater Hook, what's up, man? Hey, guys, if you uh, haven't yet, you need to check out Saltwater Hook. He's about to start doing live streams, and he's got some pretty cool stuff going on. Great personality and awesome videos. So it's worth checking that gentleman out. <laughs> I'm so lost on whatever show you guys are discussing. Yeah, I, I don't know much about it. I've, it's supernatural. I've only watched it a couple of times, and I watched it when we were house sitting right before I got pregnant with Savannah. So. And I haven't seen it. I'm just familiar with ago. one of the guys looking like me. Not me looking like him, mind you. He looks like me. So I've been told. By who? Who told you Andrew. this? Andrew. Andrew told me that. He, said, I, he said I'm a dead ringer for the guy. Really? Yeah. And when did Andrew tell you this? Uh, a year ago, I'm two years ago. I don't know. Really? Hey, absolute pleasure, Solar Hook. I'm uh, sure you just left You got good that. stuff, and I'm really excited to see what you're going to be doing, man. I know that you're in the area, so I'm kind of buttering you up in the event we have an opportunity yeah. to go fishing together sometime. Where are you at, Saltwater Hook? Saltwater, he's in South Texas somewhere. I'm not sure where, but I've seen it. He does Being his KG fishing. with us, huh? He does his fishing in Choking. the Padre Island area. Oh, uh, see, Clueless Homesteader says the same thing, dead ringer. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be rude. He must be a handsome fellow. He must be. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to be rude. I want to give a little bit of a shout out for just a moment here. Uh, uh, real quick, I, I had a little conversation with some guys. Uh, they're fishing people thing. I don't know. But uh, anyway, they're awesome individuals. They're called Ardent. And oh, they hooked us up with a bunch of fishing oh, lines. I was checking this out. I'm like, I love this. Yeah, it's called Gliss. I don't know the first thing about it. I haven't tried it out yet. I but think. I want to thank those guys for hooking me up. Because, you know, this matches my Trudeckens. Yeah, so uh, we're going to be spooling some reels this week. We're going to try that stuff out. We'll leave plenty of good reviews. And I told them that I would mention them in the live stream and stuff like that. So I'm excited to see what happens with that. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. So looking so looking forward to hauling in some fish with that. This is going to be my new spring mono. I'm excited. That's right. Which one are you going to go with, pink or yellow? Um, because I love my shrimp. You're going to go with yellow. I kind of thought you'd go with that. Yeah, because I like my print shrimp. I was going to put the pink on Savvy's rod, and this isn't that much line. This one is. But it has to do with the test size, and it also has to do with the poundage, and yeah. it has to do well, with they're what all, I put on them. They're all 40 pounds. This was 150 yards. Those are 300. So. I know. Agreed. This will go on my rod. Plus, I'll put my. What, 
I know, right? Fresh fishing stuff is always good. I'm not going to turn it down. I'm take a shot at it. I'm not really fond. Uh, then let me know if you guys experience something different. I'm not fond of the colored lines. I, I like it green. I like, you know, obviously like mono or fluoro. I like green. I like But uh, I, I like the, the <laughs> braid that kind of matches the uh, the water around I'm our area. I'm excited about this, though. Because... But I'll take a shot at it. I don't know if it makes a difference. I like this because when we have a bright day... Okay, I don't like it because Spanish mackerel will tear that up. Oh, you're right. They're they're gonna right. aim for it. They're gonna they're gonna but be biting you know those lines all I day catch long. Them, you eat them as tuna fish. So I know, but they're gonna be cutting our lines. We're gonna be dropping lures left and right. Yeah, we can pull them in. We can pull them. Where are you guys in Texas? Near Corpus? I used to live in Houston many many moons ago. Hey, that's well down the street. Kind. I'm not gonna say that's really we cool. I'm not a fan of Houston. The trifecta. But Houston it's very nice to have some uh, some pre and post Texans in here. We are just outside of Corpus Christi. Town's called Beeville, Texas, is where we're from. Prisons. Yeah, it's a prison town. Actually, um, I'm from Dallas. We're from Jesus. Austin. I'm from Corpus Christi, Corpus and Christi. we lived in Austin. Yeah. So, but yeah, right now, just outside yeah. of Corpus, and I grew up. I, I, I grew up in Corpus Christi. Houston's a great, great city. I mean, it it, does, it gets way too much flack for what it is. Not a fan. Hey. Not a fan. You've never been to the museums. You've never been, you know, to the great places. That Cuban place I went to is amazing. I mean, there's so much places, so many, excuse me, places you haven't been that are awesome. You got to give them a try. But there are plenty of places that I have been outside of Houston that I really liked that Houston doesn't have. Hi. But Houston has traffic. I'm also telling you, I got pulled a, a gun pulled on me in Pasadena. That doesn't mean. I don't like Pasadena either. Houston, Pasadena. Wine today. I know, I know, I know. It was, uh, I, I had a really good meeting with my boss yesterday at work, so I, I got a bottle of wine, and I like wine, I drink wine, I have a hard time with beer, although I enjoy, I, I enjoy craft beers, uh, so I'm drinking wine, normally I drink like a $4 bottle, yeah, I like, I like cheap dough, you I you still want to know who did that, that who told us that? That's going to get us in trouble on YouTube, we're not allowed to have yeah, that music on here. I still want to know. Who <laughs> you gotta learn that. the lessons, man. Savannah, I've only ever look. used blue or green. Yeah, see, I'm the same way. I, I like fluoro. Light. I like clear. I don't like them to see the line, and I just feel like they're gonna see this stuff. I but I see people use it all the time, so I don't know. Day. Not on a bright day. I don't, I don't think on a clear day. Well, not a not a hey, a clear day. Clearly, they will do. I'm just saying on one of those days where it's the refraction is good. Mm-hmm. Thanks be good. I don't know. We're gonna have to try the and pink, find out. Oh, they're gonna see that pink mile away yeah they will so we fish with this for savannah Off yeah docks. if we are doing exactly if we we're want. doing whiting and we're going to have we're going to have mono leaders and floral leaders so it shouldn't okay. make that much of a difference mono but on the surface pink. a spanish mackerel i guarantee it's going to hit that line you make do it, it how are you doing man um you do it i recognize you from somewhere i i want to say this is your first time in the stream correct me if i'm wrong on that but where have i seen you from where have i seen you before are you from like, do I know you from uh, Nick Ninnan, all those guys? Vid Summit. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. How are you doing, man? It's been a while. How you been doing? Yeah, he he was. Uh, yeah, he was up there. We took pictures with. Uh, oh, the Jeffrey Eatley. I was like the thing with the. Yeah. Because <laughs> we just have that, you know. Absolute thing. pleasure having you here, man. How are you doing? Good to oh, see you. It's been a minute. Savannah. Used to drive from Houston to Brownsville once a week for work. Whoa. That's. Rough. Yeah, that's a rough drive. I used to work in Brownsville. I did. I took photos for an insurance company of people's houses. And awesome job because you're like right down there by Mexico. You know, I just drive down to Brownsville, take a bunch of pictures of people's houses, and then go and have a couple of drinks on the other side of the border. But people don't like you taking pictures of their houses. And a couple of times, people saw me doing it. And it's because the insurance company wants to screw them out of money for a claim or something like that. Like, I get it. I'm just a photographer. And I was a kid. I was like 22. And, and, but these people would be chasing me down in the streets just outside of Mexico. It got kind of scary. A couple of times I had to pull into, like, public places and go walk into a building. So, you know, it, it, so it scared me a little bit. Cool job. If they hadn't uh, kind of screwed me on some of the pay, I might have, you know, continued doing it. But it just... Uh, but yeah, long, so long story short, I also worked in Brownsville for very, a very short amount of time. Loved Austin. Austin was gorgeous. It was beautiful. Loved every minute of Austin. I'm a saltwater guy, though. It was really hard being that far away from the beach for me. <laughs> being in Beeville is difficult being that far away from the beach for, for me. I feel like I'm drying out. But Rachel, too, she feels the same I way. I can't handle no lakes and no beach. I, I like 
lived in lakes. Yeah, you do it. Hey, guys, uh, 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 this guy knows what he is doing with his YouTube channel. This is one of those guys that studies it and knows oh, what he's doing. Good guy. And, and, a, and a scholar and a gentleman, too. I, I hey, met him personally yeah. at a YouTube yeah, conference thing a couple yeah, months yeah. ago. I was saying, I know what you mean. I apologize that I have not been in more contact with you recently. I, I'm sorry that I let that kind of slip, yeah, man. Yeah, when you came home, you were like, boom, 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 this is good. Yeah, yeah, I came home from that conference, and I was just super stoked about everything. And, and we're still kicking, still kicking. And, then you made your foot, so, you know, live, comes in front of He delivered to comic books to about 30 stores. Oh, all along that route? Hey, that's kind of, well, Actually, you're the delivery guy, so you don't really get to sit there and, and like, read them. And that is unfortunate, but it's still kind of a cool gig you got. Cool. Guys injured collecting insurance money and chasing you down the street. I know, I know. It was... And it, well, see, and one of the rules they had with that job was that they, they needed to take... We had to take pictures from like four different angles of the house. So it's not like you could just sit in the street and take a picture. Like They actually had us going like running up and jumping on people's fences to take pictures at an angle. It was a little... It was... It felt a little shady sometimes. When I was doing those pictures for that insurance company... It was, it was like a year before I met you, and that's all the time I spent in Mexico was when I was doing that job. I'm sorry, I was just like, well, yeah. We would go down to the bars, like on the other side of the border, just every, every single day. And it was cool because we'd get tacos, and whenever you order tacos, you get the receipt and say Taco Bell tacos for some reason. They like to refer to it like that. Yeah, I, I would have chased me off too. I, I, I totally get it. It's still kind of scary, and I'm just doing my job, but I totally get it. I don't blame them for doing it. And chasing me off is one thing. I get that. But, like, when they actually were chasing me through the city and then, like, getting out and walking into the store, you know, that, that got kind of that got kind of shady. That's where I wasn't too fond of it. Hey, uh, uh, by the way, guys, uh, I got 10 thumbs up on this. I, I don't actually know the value of that, but I, I want to thank you guys. I, I want you to know that that, that is appreciated. Uh, the YouTube lady will not be here to, to whip me with a small piece of cane tonight. <laughs> so, thank you guys. <laughs> mm. So, oi, that's who we got. You do it. What have you been up to, man? What are you doing? I see you on LinkedIn all the time. I'm kind of curious, and I check out your stuff. It's just, it's been a minute since I have, and I apologize for that. Vid Summit 2019, that is in Los Angeles, is that correct? Am I right on that? I've seen that it's there. I haven't looked up the information on it. I'm kind of curious about it. You were in Corpus. Hey, uh, how was the weather? Saltwater, did you see the uh, Did you see the Gulf? Is it, how's the surf? How's the water clarity? Things like that. What are the fishing conditions right now? I'm curious. Actually, I've got a hunting trip this weekend, hopefully. Hopefully. I had one last weekend. They got totally canceled as a result of uh, some awesome things that happened at work. So I had to reschedule, and I'm hoping uh, to be able to get out and do a little bit of hunting this weekend. Keeping my fingers crossed on that. It's the last weekend for bucks. I, we can still get does down here. Our hunting season is insanely long, whereas in Wisconsin, you have like a week, a week, a week. Yeah. Dad did trifecta this year, which is so cool to me. I'm so proud. Mm -hmm. and Sean. They've got muzzle load. They've got... Regular, and they've got air, uh, but why don't you, why don't you come camera, around over buddy? here where people can see you? Not well, no food in your mouth, it's kind of gross. Saltwater Hook says it looked rough, nasty, cold, and wet. Uh, Ugh. that sucks. Yeah, this time of year is this. I, I used to like this time of year, well, I, I used to surf a lot, and this was a good time of year for surfing. Unfortunately, I'm a little older, a little more out of shape. And I uh, don't get to go out there as much as I would like to. So surfing is not something that I'm able to actually I'm kind done. of plan on anymore. Thanksgiving is my Thanksgiving week is I'm done. What do you mean? I call it Thanksgiving. We call it done. That's our last week. Now. Of what? We're old. I'm joking. No, I'm no, not. I'm not. I'm not subscribing to that. Oh, you're not subscribing. To no, that. I'm not. I'm not calling you it are. done after Thanksgiving. Oh, I, oh, I, I go to the beach 24/7. I didn't say that. I thought that's what you meant. That's not what I said. That's a, that's I didn't understand what you said. Oh, no. Shoot, no. Uh, 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 January surfing is awesome. Yeah, LAX, we meet in we video January marketing. Surfing. Sir, what? since I had my daughter, when's what? the last time we went January surfing? Years. That's right. Last it was in time, Cozumel. Well, that's different. It's Cozumel. 
Yeah, but that's the last time I've been I January. So I used to start the year every year. Uh, January 1st, I was surfing. That that was a, a thing for me right out of high school. And we don't do that. That's fine. I, I'm not like holding anyone okay. accountable on that one. I just, no. That was a thing I used to do. I'm good. Okay. Anything. You do it says LAX. We meet in video marketing world, making a crap ton of content and side hustle. My son is making hip hop, so I've been busy working on his website. Hey, that's LAX really cool. Is the most, that's cool. One of the coolest airports. You I want to go to LA? O'Hare. I love O'Hare. That's but in October. LAX is, is that right? One of the coolest airports I've ever been to. Because, you know, my. Vid Summit's in October. Did, am I, I right about airports. that? You want to go to LA I'm in October? Sure I, I have my ticket. Before Man, my hit the match. Go. Sorry. I'd like to go. I, Vid Summit's a big one. I didn't go this year because I was well. Is that the one where all the YouTubers, like, that's where you get the, oh, all the big the guys and was? everybody? Yeah. No. You come around over you here if you're going to say hi. Say hi. Eat your dinner first. Then you could be on YouTube. Yeah. Not really raining, more drizzling. Yeah, that's how it's been out here, too. Got to run. Dogs went out. Clueless Homesteaders, absolute pleasure. Thank you guys for joining us. We really appreciate your company. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful evening. We'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, and I'll be dropping all kinds of comments on your uh, on your channel here. I always think that because comments are there, like I'm not seeing. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, yeah. You're well. You're if somebody's watching <laughs> it on the side like this, yeah, you're behind the comments. But well, uh, if you're watching it just normal. Yeah, then. I forget. So Savannah and I are like doing our little okay. Work. So Vid Summit is in October. You want to do? Um, well, is that that's school. the big one, oh, right? Cool. Is that the big one that everybody does? Is that the one where like we were watching Leon Lush and he's like doing the? Blah, 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 blah. I, yeah, I want to say that's Vid. Uh, I don't. You went to Dallas. Y'all were in. We Dallas went to VMW. In, yeah, that was Video Marketers World. That was a conference, he's kind of specifically on marketing. I can't see the far away. Da well, it's it's a Daryl Eves event, so that's and Sean Duras, is that what he said? Yeah, Daryl Eves is. Yeah, he's up there. So that's a great. That and says it all right there. Is the best daughter in the whole world. That's right. That's right. I knew that. I knew it was Daryl Eves, oh, and I forgot the about the that. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be talking to you about that. I know Nick Nimmin's all about going to that one. He's super excited about it. Um, and I have not played too much into that community of uh, wonderful people that I got to meet at Video Marketers World. I apologize for that. And I will make a, uh, I will make it a point to be a better member of that community. And I would like to see you guys in Los Angeles. That would be a lot of fun. Not particularly fond of Los Angeles. It's a little city-ish for me. It's so oh big. Lord. So big. I only actually... But it could be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm not playing. I'm, but I, I, I take that back. It, it is a lot of fun. I guarantee it. I'm sure it is. Have you been before? Like, subscribe, and, and <laughs> subscribe down below and give us a big thumbs up. She's not trying at all. She just naturally does and it. Slap that captain's bell. Ring it. Ring the cat. Like, bring it, Mama. Ring it, Mama. Ring it. So that you ring never it. miss an opportunity to hang out with us. <laughs> Not trying at all. Just naturally does. Yeah. It. Right. Yeah. Did I, I didn't? I don't tell her to do that. She just obviously just like that. Clearly. She just does it on demand. She <laughs> also like she when does. we go. For the record, so that you don't think that we're terrible people. <laughs> Daddy tells me to do it. <laughs> no, good girl. For the record, we'll go to like Whataburger, and. Uh, <laughs> You know, we're sitting there ordering at the drive-thru, and she'll jump in my lap and be like, like and subscribe, and no, we're ordering hamburgers. Slap that captain's bell. And she'll be like, ring it. I mean, ring it. <laughs> hey, Saltwater Hook, absolute one. pleasure, man. Uh, thank you very you much good? for joining us. I look well, forward to more from you, man. It's time and go. you have a wonderful evening, hey, sir. Hey, you Jamie's on, baby? Uh, really the like area that the right hotel now. is in is Inglewood, so it's technically not the city. Hey, even better, you're right about that. I like uh, I like the northern area of Los Angeles. I've only it's been uh, to, well, it's not even LA. I've only been to. I was there. I was in LAX, and we went to the Star Trek Inn. Is the only way I can even explain it. LAX was cool, and because my flight attendant mm -hmm. association, she was um, a flight. A, she was a flight attendant. I'm not for even a bit. For, for like that much of a bit. Um, it's a cool, cool airport. O'Hare mm. is my other favorite, and I'm from Dallas, and that's not even my favorite, clearly, even though I'm, like, having so much fun when we go there. But, man, LAX is cool. However, California, and I'm sorry, people that are in California, I just don't love it. I think I would love the but, rest of California, just not but, the city part. I, yeah, I, I'm making it a point to get her to California. I like San Francisco. I love San Venice, Diego Big Sur, Malibu. Awesome. 
I loved San Diego. It was beautiful. Northern California is gorgeous. So if that's but what it takes, if we go to Vid Summit in California, I was there for the Marine Corps, then we can so go check out like different. a bunch of cool stuff after. Yeah. So okay, we're gonna make so. it a point. You can pencil us in. I'm gonna be there. She's over there going like and subscribe. <laughs> Find your pajamas. No, saltwater hook, dude. Hey, absolute pleasure, man. Uh, again, like I, I look forward to, uh, I, I look forward to having more conversations with you, man. We're gonna, we're in the same area. At some point, we're gonna have to get together and do some fishing. So, starting it off on the right foot. You know what I mean? Me too. Inglewood is next to Manhattan Beach. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. That's all right. That's all right. I'm not entirely sure exactly where that is. It's all like I know uh, Hermosa well, Beach. We know Inglewood because of. I know, yeah, uh, I know Inglewood no, because, of because of bad. San Andreas because of a uh, oh because Grand of the rock. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's my experience with Inglewood. I remember yeah. used to play that. That was so cute. That is so cute. That was like when you were. Crying. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not I gonna lie. That's how I know cute. Inglewood. I was like twenty. <laughs> so. Sorry. I spent a little time there. I've been to California a couple of times. Sorry, we've been together for but I, I a million avoided, years. I've sorry. avoided L.A. I, I've been, but I tried to avoid it a little bit. Everybody that thinks I don't Video marketing world is not going to happen unless someone buys it. What? Really? What happened with that? What does that mean? Jeremy's not running it this year. Who? Oh. Uh, it's a, it's a Jeremy, and I don't know. Is it Jeremy Vest? Is that his name? I think um, uh, he's uh, he's the one that did video marketing. He did God. such a good job with it too. Dude, what's wrong, Kaya? Stayed at your friend's house in Hermosa Beach. Yeah, I for years I wanted to live in Hermosa Beach. I'm a big fan of the music in the area, Pennywise. Oh. Um, Speaking of which, this is just like I don't know where I should tell you. Really 98 quick. Mute is Sublime is from that area. Just gonna tell you real quick. So did you hear that big deal because of like California? Sorry about that. No. Like. Flea and everybody are like they're having this major thing for the environment. I'm like super proud of them. They are. Yes, because of the fires and everything, and it's for once they're doing something really good for the environment. I'm sorry, I just went on a tangent. I apologize. Go ahead. Well, kudos to the red hot chili peppers. <clears throat> yes. Or are you talking about Flea Frosco? I am. The surfer. I am actually Anthony Kiedis is doing it, but Flea put it out, all of them put it out, and there's other guys too coming into it, and it's for the, it, the fires and everything. And yeah, but let fires. Let Flea and the rest of the Red Hot Chili Peppers know if you guys happen to see them in passing, that we yes. appreciate their efforts and in, in, in what they are doing with the environmental impact work that they're doing. And if they would uh, like some assistance in YouTube <laughs> presence, we would be happy to accommodate. Yeah. But also, as a you know, forestry and environmental management hey, person, we DC have to remember. DC Metropolitan Angler, how are you doing? I apologize. You shouldn't have houses there. Just I'm saying. sorry. Yeah, I could have held off on that just a second. No, I'm sorry for no, interrupting. No, no, it's fine. I'm, I'm sorry. just you know I like to ramble on that kind of stuff. I know, and I get sidetracked, shiny things. Yep. Oh, that's uh, me though. I'm it the, is you. you. Like, well, the keys but on YouTube, me. it's me. Oh, really? Yeah, it's switch. We re roll reversal on that. How are you doing, man? Uh, DC Metropolitan Angler. Is this your first time on the stream? If it is, I'm kind of curious. I'd like to welcome you. Uh, Sorry. Go ahead. I say adequately. I don't know. I would like to welcome you warmly. Adequately for... <laughs> doesn't work. Warmly. It's an absolute fondly. pleasure having you here, sir. Regardless Thank you for stopping by. Musky Hans. How are you doing things. there, sir? Shit we're doing right now. Steph. We really appreciate you dropping in with us, man. Thank you for coming and saying hi. Stop saying thank you for stopping by. You so sound like Anchorman, which is like right there. I and love I Anchorman. Tell you, I, we love him, right? And I, I just want to say, and this is Tits McGee. Quick staring contest. Brick killed a man <laughs> with a trident. <laughs> yeah, Brick, you should probably go I hiding. know. Milk was a bad choice. <laughs> That's not what he said. He right said now. That. He didn't say that. Jeremy Vest said it took it too much decision. time away from his family. Oh, that is that is single-handedly the reason that 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 we, we were talking about YouTube. We studied YouTube for like a year and a half before we decided to to jump on and do it. And the whole that thing on it was to make it a family fine. fishing outdoors channel. I didn't like it at so all. So that we could do it I was together. Like, no, no, no. Yeah, Rachel's against it. She doesn't like change. I'm not against it. It's not that. I don't like Going to clean fish soon. Kudos, sir. Congratulations, man. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Yeah, what's the catch? Muskies? Oh, is it for mice? It's Muskie Hans is the channel that did it. No, is it for mice fishing? What were they, were they out? You guys doing ice fishing? Oh, did you well, see that article recently about how uh, everybody's pansy with their ice. And I'm like, who cares? If you're out ice fishing, if you can do what you want, do it. 
tiny house on ice, do it. Hey, I'm the there same way. There was a giant article, and I'm like, who cares? Yeah, I ice saw that. I saw that. I'm like, what? Yeah, I, yeah they had an article in the news about yeah, how... So everybody uh, should be like my dad and my grandpa were out huddling. If you're not, they had a, the, I don't care. And the article care said it. that it was kind of against the thing of like putting like up Whatever. these amazing little shacks for ice fishing. Who cares? It's, and yeah, I, I totally agree because fun. we do that on the beach. When we camp at the beach, I've got every <laughs> amenity known to man. Paul used to drag old big. couches sometimes oh, yeah. out of a dumpster. Yeah, we would take couches and set up a living room set up with a rug and a Christmas tree and <laughs> decorations and stuff. I mean, it, it was fun. And then we fun. would drag them back it, it off the beach. Gaudy. The thing is here, it's an accreting beach. So anything we have here... It could be from Malaysia. It could be from anywhere, just like when we went to Cozumel. It's not that people are just dirty and nasty and they throw things on the beach, although that happens too. Yeah. You can find anything. Dog houses from the time. And we would collect a bunch of trash, decorate the Christmas tree, and then burn the whole thing to the ground in a big bonfire at night so that we were actually kind of cleaning up a little bit. Not the air, but the beach. Wasn't going for that part, but I was just going to say that we Anchor Man, it was the worst. <laughs> Uh, the best of the worst? Mr. We, Buddha's <laughs> place, sir, it is an absolute pleasure to have you here tonight. Man, did you happen to get my email? I emailed you earlier. Um, I apologize oh for having been absent, trying to set up a time where we can get together and take a look at some things and stuff like that. And I want to thank you for coming and joining me. I jumped in your live stream earlier today, but I think there were some lag issues. Uh, s something like that was going on. So can I, be a bit of I, I, I wasn't very... Uh, can I ask if our sister-in-law was... His son's teacher. Is that fangirly? Yeah, let's do that off, off yeah, the screen. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, we, we'll had talk a, about that we had a question. Was, yeah, my wife has a question for you, Mr. Buddha's Place. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll get we'll, that, we'll we'll that, that off Oh, uh, let's see. We got uh, DC Metropolitan Angler caught some crappie. I'm so envious of that. I want to catch crappie so Every bad. Every Friday, we would have crappie no matter what. It would be probably mostly, usually from... Wisconsin, we would have it every Friday for dinner. Crappie, French fries, straight Catholic. Although we were Lutheran, <laughs> I love that. Although we were Lutheran, we did that, that. was our dinner, See, and then we'd go out and do whatever we please. But we had to stay home, have dinner. We did every that with Spanish mackerel, similar Spanish mackerel or uh, whiting and stuff like that. Wisconsin perch transports. actually, That's perch is actually pretty good eating. It is some fish. Um, some fish. Our sun net fish down, fish. yeah, that that's what happened. Uh, I. I We've all we've all experienced that, especially here in Beaver. We get a lot of bad brownouts here. Um, really? Heading out this weekend. I, well, safe travels, man. Hit me up whenever you get back. Whatever. It, no rush on it. I just didn't want to be inconveniencing you by taking too long. Or anything dragging my feet, and I apologize for that. But yeah, just let me know. We can work around you, my friend. I'm I'm, I'm intrigued. I want to help out. I know I know enough about your program, so like that, I want to help you out with that. So uh, I'm excited about it. Where are you at? I was only fishing for bluegill and crappie today. We are in South Texas. We are just outside of Corpus Christi. Uh, and we primarily do saltwater. I our closest bluegrown crappie suck at freshwater. are in, not too far off the road. Yeah, see, I've tried for crappie and bass and some other stuff at uh, some of the local mm. areas. And I tried poorly. We were having we family days. We know how to fish for it. However, we know that structure, it's deep, it's cold whatever we need to do for it, but we don't have a boat and we don't have the ability really we to We have take a boat, we don't have a motor. We don't have a motor. So some say we need to start a, what's it called, a Parthion? I mean, A no, Patreon. <laughs> we're not, we're, we're not going to start it. We we're have a Patreon. I'm joking. We're, we're not, not going to push a Patreon That's for crap. a boat motor. We're going to no, get No, we're boat saving. Motor. I'm just joking. We're saving for one. Somebody told me we should do that. And I'm like, no, that's ridiculous. The we'll camera is ourselves. slowly... Slow. I kind of noticed off. that. I didn't want to say anything. So I was like, oh my gosh, that was really trashy. We're I so tanky. Whoever did that. Thank yeah, you. Give me one of them wine bottles. Let me prop up this camera. Thank you, whoever said that. <clears throat> Nobody said I, I don't know if anybody caught it. Okay, thank gosh. Because Good old fish and chips. Absolutely <laughs> right about that. Yes. Beer batter. Best. Yeah. Give me a couple of LITEs. It spells beer in Wisconsin. Thank you very much. <laughs> Paul was so embarrassed when I said that. How I learned okay. to spell. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Boone's Place. Like I said, man, um, uh, you said you are heading out this weekend and all that stuff. Uh, there's a couple of things I want to talk to you about. Uh, like I said, it, it's not a discussion on camera or stuff like that. I just wanted you to be aware. Uh, 
work and some other stuff, the obvious excuses were kind of holding me back the, the last couple of weeks. I'm trying to free up some time, particularly to work with you and get some stuff done for you. I just want you to know that I'm trying to be active about it, it's all. I'm not trying to drop the ball on that whole thing. I thought you guys were in a boat with the way the camera was moving. <laughs> oh my God, it's all part so of the, awesome. you know, a lot of people focus on microphones and lighting in order to create the right atmosphere in the we set. Dorks. All we do is loosen the, the nut on the camera so that it rocks a little bit. And then that and gives then you the ambiance and atmosphere that we're on the... Our child adds the extra <laughs> imbalance that we need. I'm on a boat. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> I love that oh. song. Yes. I can't tighten this. Oh, maybe oh, I can. Or the, what's the other one? That, uh, we'll see if that works. Brothers. See if that, that does anything. Yeah, I'm a big Will Ferrell fan. Yeah, we have a... No, we don't have a Will Ferrell issue. We have a Will Ferrell... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My angles and lighting are all over the place. Join the club on that, man. Um, you yeah. Know what we do is, can I please with this so they can hear what? I Okay, you want them? Rachel's input on angles and lighting? Please. Here you go. <clears throat> See what you got. Just everyone, be quiet. That's Paul. Yeah. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? You just broke the light. Nemesis of my life. I dreamed. I just got that nightmare light. I was Nirvana. I don't know if any of you know who Teen Titans are, but I have a six-year-old, so I do. And now everybody's going to... I just see everybody dropping off the stream because that <laughs> light's so not sorry. on. <laughs> However, I dreamt that I was an iguana in a cage because the sound of... Did you turn off the light in the background, too? I probably did. But you know what? We have a night right there, so we're good. Yeah. Now you can see the fence. You don't have to get off the stream. You can see the fence out there in orange. It's you can't see the blue light. It's an old boat. <laughs> it's an old wooden boat. We're so tacky. You're so tacky. <laughs> so terrible at this. Whatever. We try, guys. We try. That's where this went. You, <laughs> you stole this from me. What? No blue light. I'm out of here. <laughs> Thank you so much for our awesome blue. I'm an iguana light making me have nightmares. It is a nightmare light. It's I don't terrible. know if you can hear it or, or now not hear it, but that thing makes this grinding oh noise the entire time it's going. It's, it's oh, it's so terrible. It. I'm glad you're broke. I hate it, but it's beautiful. Like, I love the light. You can't oh, see it because it, it shines on this one little piece of wall. So you can't really, you can't really see it. It's supposed to look like it's underwater. You can't, the video doesn't pick it up right. It's, it's cool looking. But we haven't implemented it correctly, and that grinding noise we, is just the thing of nightmares. We haven't implemented it, really? I haven't implemented it correctly. No, no one needs I think it. I should probably implement it right into You're the dumpster, fine. right? Yes, thank you. You're fine. This, this is horrible. I like that thing, though. Just deleted YouTube because the light was broken. No doubt. It's like I have an <laughs> epileptic stroke all the time we do this. And you know why I'm not on every... People are like, why isn't Rachel on your little light? Because <laughs> I have... Sorry, because I can't even do that. I'm sorry. You don't understand. <laughs> That's so awful. You don't under I went on Amazon. I'm looking through all these different lights. I'm I had so to have so the shitty. absolute I'm perfect sorry. light. I got permission for the perfect light, and I, I waited <laughs> to get that thing in the mail, and then I waited a full live stream because I wanted it set up perfect before I did the live stream. And as I'm sitting here telling this, and the camera's dropping in my face, this thing ended <laughs> up being just an absolute nightmare. But remember when the first were, since no. since day one. No, but remember when I got that thing for Savvy, and it was like oh, poof, 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 poof. that stupid little, little dancing. Thing. Yes, no, yes. No, it's not a dancing thing. It's this thing is like sitting down looking Christmas at my lap now. Light. It's, the, it's like a rave in her room all the time. It's a Christmas light. So dang. So, it works. so bad at this. Yeah, I broke everything. I'm this is why I'm on YouTube and not network TV. <laughs> oh, God. We can even be on PBS. Busted lights. I've got this, <laughs> this Busted lights. tripod thing that's just falling heat. over like this slowly. <laughs> you don't even have heat. Any of you guys who've seen my videos and you've seen, like, I don't cut it out. Every time that camera falls over, I leave that in there <laughs> so that you guys can see picture. that I'm not total pro. Oh, yeah, when we do that. Not that you need any convincing. Our jungle picture? Yeah, I like that. Let me set it up. Yeah, and then and the camera just falls over. over. <laughs> I leave that in every time. 
I'm usually cut out because of that. I, I did a video. We did a video early on where I was uh, I was it's making creepy. whiting gravlax, which is oh, interesting. Yeah, that's the reason. And why so I go to get good. it out of the fridge so I can feed it to the girls, and I'm filming the whole time. <clears throat> and uh, when that's I go to grab it out of the fridge, good. like everything falls, and I was sitting there, and I was like. Oh, I'll just edit that out. What? And I was like, man, that's too funny. Like, I'm just going to leave it in. Let everyone laugh at me. <laughs> that is awful. Why is that doing that? <laughs> Brings the rods some class. That's what I'm saying, right? It does. It classes the up the rods a little Honestly, bit. Honestly, the rods are better than the house right now. Yeah. More expensive than our the house. Our rods are better than our, um, yeah, trust me. Our it's rods are way more expensive. I'm not going to beat down that rod. Gentle. Yeah, I might need it to help me out with heat this season. No. <laughs> it's no. a big negative on that. That's right. So, yeah. Maybe some of them rods. shoes. What shoes? I have two pairs, dude. Two pairs in one little cubby hole of that thing hanging up in the closet. From before when I married you. So, so before when you married me, we can, shoes we can burn them shoes? You. Remember? No. Oh, remember? Wait, I gave you fat feet? No. Remember when I was walking with those shoes? Remember, I used to have all these shoes. Okay, this is awesome. I used to have all these cool shoes. Yes, yeah, And she I did. unleashed these shoes. And I'm like, oh, God, we finally find them. And I'm walking along, and you can't even say. I'm walking, and I keep getting shorter and shorter and shorter after we find the shoes. And her kids probably keeps going, because you have all these shoes and da 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 Yeah, the shoes, if you don't buy them after a long time, and you keep them in storage, and you live in a house with no heat or AC... That's what it, that's what did it. Really? Or was it other things? So the shoes, I started getting shorter and shorter and shorter on Easter Sunday. During of the all day, the days. Of all the days to wear these shoes, because, you know, I have no shoes, because I only buy three shoes. It was sad. A year. It was so awful. I hadn't worn those shoes since graduation from yeah, college. Yeah, so she has this collection of amazing shoes from the time that she, <laughs> before when... <laughs> Should have seen her before she married me. She's very, she's very attractive, very beautiful girl. Not anymore. Someone asked me that too. Yeah. What happened to you? Oh shit! It was Michael. Michael asked that. Michael. No. Screw that guy. No, it's your G's your damn friend. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, that was so rude. <laughs> what happened to you? So have you guys anyway, learned let's move on. from the shoe so lesson sorry. here? Did you learn? Did you learn your fun. lesson about shoes? He's walking in the damn shoes that fell apart. It's so funny. It's so hard to explain it. It sounds like bitterness, and it's not. It's just so. Hilarious. That's what you're getting for your birthday. We're gonna get you a gift card or whatever no, you I'm need to go, go to go I get all the shoes fine. that you need to restore you to your prior glory. Oh, it's never gonna happen. No, it's just so funny. About Such a what defeatist happened. attitude. I still live and breathe under the idea that one of these days I'll get back into high school shape. I wouldn't ask you that. I was just asking to have my feet not fall. No, you don't have to ask. I'm just, it's just going to happen. <laughs> I mean, I'm 38. I still got another got year this. to do it. Come on, buddy. You got this. Uh, Come on, Chief. DC Metropolitan Angler. Yeah, we just got to bounce. He's got some midnight crappie work he's got to do. Sir, good luck to you, and thank you very much for joining us, man. It was an absolute pleasure. Look forward to seeing you again in the future, man. Thank you for coming along. We're winding this down. We're not going to be hanging out here too much. To be honest with you, I'm just kind of hanging out with my wife at this point, enjoying some wine, and just uh, hadn't turned the camera off. And, you know, if that's cool with you guys, it's cool with me. Hey, I appreciate that, man. You are dope, sir, and I look forward to seeing more of you. Thank you. He says we are dope, Rachel. <gasps> are we low-key? I'm joking. Razor. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no neck, baby, no neck. No neck, is that? That is no neck. I, yeah, thought, neck. I thought it was baby long neck that was the big thing. I don't know, I don't no. know. Uh, wait, is that your, your crew says? That's one of those YouTube no, is that guy what things, I don't know. Says? No, 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 my crew, crew doesn't say that. that my crew says boo gang. Oh, no, with him. No, 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 with him. <laughs> if my kids do that, I do throw things. Mm hmm. Yeah, my guys at work say that, and it, it kind of no aggravates me like nobody's business. My kids. I will throw I'm going to slightly adjust this without anybody noticing. Oh, please. Maybe they know. They all know. <laughs> now it looks a little high. Did you shut off all the lights? Well, I just Rachel is, is is slowly here, just going around shutting off the uh, all of our all of our set. Oh, that's me standing in front of it. I'm so sorry. I was trying to figure out what. That's <laughs> so what the shadow is. I am so sorry. I didn't know I was doing that. I'm sorry. No. I thought that we were being depressing, and I was like, oh, I'm 
I'm trying to get oh like I'm so sorry. We're not being worse. depressing, we're being uh Lame. had a little bit to drink for yeah. sure. Apologize if we that don't is usually drink that much. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know right on a Wednesday. On a Wednesday. We're those guys. No, we're not. That's just works that. in the original. And I just see the numbers dropping. <laughs> I don't blame them because I wouldn't want to watch me. Like yeah, I tell you what, guys, on that note. Future I, me, you suck. <laughs> Get off the show. We're having an absolute blast. I want to thank you very much thank for joining us tonight, guys. So it has much. been over an hour. I would like to spend a little bit of time with my wife, sit down, watch a movie, and have some dinner and stuff like that. So I want to thank you guys very much for joining us really appreciate you guys can't tell you how much we appreciate having you guys along with us you look like prison life i look like prison life isn't that the show i what sh not what isn't what show? that it the show prison life i don't i don't know what that is we have to go we got to get out of here <laughs> we're gonna go relax and try to uh drink some water and stuff like that be prepared for work tomorrow Thank you guys again very much for joining us. We do really appreciate you. And we look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. You guys have a wonderful night. Mr. Buddha's Place, <laughs> pleasure joking. is all mine, sir. DC Metropolitan Angler. Prison break, baby. I was just Everybody, we really appreciate you guys. We will see you all bye in the next one. Y'all have so a much. wonderful evening. Bye. And, and tolerating enjoy your weekend. us.